<sighs> Let me just say in this video. This video is for my sisters, my transsexual sisters, who have experienced this before. Even girls, but I would love the input from my transsexual sisters who have experienced this before. You know, one thing my mother always taught me was when you learn to embrace your true self, things that matter will fall into place. And I'm going to try to be as less as emotional as I can in this video. But these past few weeks have really been so good to me. Um, I don't even feel like the same person no more. And it's not bad. It's very good. You know, one of the things that I want to talk about, I want to talk about just you being real, just how honorable it could be and how other people can respect it because you're being real. Now, you might have some people that might not accept it or they might not like it because they're fake and they don't like that you're confident and you're true to yourself, so they want to hate you. I was contacted out the blue by a well-known person. I'm not going to mention no name uh, until it's in the working, and you can look me up in the credits, and you can Google my name, and my name is going to be attached to a uh, establishment. Uh, in fact, this person is uh, a, not only a... a beautiful person inside, but he's a well-known person. He's been on, on charts. He's been topping the charts. Uh, you know, he's, he made some bank just off of one thing that he did. And I had the honor of being hit up by him. And um, I'm a little confused, though, because it's seeming like it's, it's getting personal. Um. But anyway, overall, we're going to do a beautiful project to that together, and it's going to be beautiful, and I know it's going to do well internationally. And um, that's one thing. It's gonna, it can make me money. It can literally make me an, not an overnight millionaire, but a millionaire. Um, the second thing is um, another project that my friend has actually been talking about with me for about a month now. Um, she's starting her own enterprise, and it's going along. And she gave me good news today. Um, something has been added on to the company that's going to allow me to just a lot of good stuff. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to brag. But let me talk about it. That's my public, personal life. But there's three things or there's two things I want to talk about right now. I've always prayed for a good man. I've always prayed for someone who can be honest, someone I can trust. And I never told people my inner feelings about my dream man. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, like, so excited. Like, you guys just do not know how excited I am. Like, I didn't want to make this video, um, but I got the confirmation that I need it, and I feel like I want to share my joy with everyone else. So these tears that, you know, is coming from the inside are not bad tears. Um, they are very good tears, and... I just know that this is going to be so beautiful. Um, you know, I've been hit on by a lot of people, and 
one of them in particular had been trying to talk to me for about three years, but I ignored him. Um, although overall I find him attractive, you know, he's a, um, he's going to college right now for his master's, um, and he's going to be a teacher. Um, he's like one of the dorkiest white boys that I've ever known. But yet he's so real. And he's not afraid to show me who he really is. Not only that, he's hella fine. Um, but I ignored him because, to me, I thought he just wanted sex. Um, and so I just would pray to God, you know, whatever's meant to be, let it be. And if not, let it go. But in the process of me getting to know this guy, um, before I was talking to this other guy, and as I'm standing right now, the hair on right here is starting to stick up because I met this guy on the on this weird place, okay, out of all places, okay, on this weird place when I wasn't looking. He hit me up. I looked at his page. I just knew, okay, this is going to be new. Something's going to be different. Anyway, not only is he the same match as me and he knows what he wants, he's stable, but I just found out that he shared the same birthday as my best friend in this whole world, and that's my mother. He shares the same birthday as my mother, and he was born in the same year I was born, so he was basically my six-month mother's birthday present. And he's everything I want. Everything. Everything I prayed for. He's exotic. He's mixed. He's intelligent. He's so respectful. And what people find crazy about me or people find insulting about me, he finds it very cute. And not to mention, he don't live too far from me. He lives probably 30 miles away. And my question to you girls is, the first guy I'm into to, this guy I'm feeling, feeling. Now, there's this other guy who lied to me, told me his name was Jose, find out his real name was Roberto Rodriguez. And that was just one thing he lied to me. But I'm also starting to notice, too, on the phone, he's starting to be very controlling to me, like very controlling. Um, he wants to come and see me, like, ASAP, and he's, like, making me let him come and see me. Like, not threatening me, but, like, making me. Listen to me, Mommy. Listen. Listen, like, very strong with his stuff. And it scares me because I dated guys like that before that, I mean, we get into an argument, bam, he punched the wall. Bam. If he was mad, he could have hit me. My question is to you guys. This guy been trying to talk to you for three years, and you finally give him the time of the day, and he's taking it, okay? Or you talk to this guy for a few months, stop talking to him because something happened, and then you let him go, and then you have this feeling to text him, and then he texts you immediately back saying that he's been thinking about you, and then he's slowly revealing to you that he likes you, and he wants to be with you, and on top of that, he's everything you want, everything, to the T, everything, <gasps> Everything you want. And even crazier, he shared the same birthday as your best friend. Your mother. Or the guy who loves you or shows you attention, but yet he wants to control you. He wants to make your money for you. He wants to he wants to be the one to make money, but also control the money that you have or the code control the money that you're gonna be getting. And he also knows how much you're worth. <laughs> And he wants to get that. But I just want your opinion. Um, I know what guy I want, but I want to hear some of y'all experiences because I know which one in my mind I want to be with. But I want to hear you guys' opinions because I know a lot of you are very opinionated, and I would love to hear a lot of your opinions. And what would you do? Like, oh, my God. Like, I feel crazy. I, I've been out of my element. Ever since I just met him. Oh, my God. Let me know, YouTube.